Good morning guys, welcome back to today's video. I told you guys I ordered a new harness, or Sam ordered, a new harness for my pig. We actually got a blue one and a pink one, which is super exciting. Comes with this big long leash. Gabby's trying it on Molly, I don't know why. I don't know why. <laughs> I guess Molly's the size of a pig. Barely fits. Barely fits. This is my life with Piggy. <laughs> She's like, I really want up, Laura. <laughs> I'm going to try and show you guys what happens when I pick her up. I've told you guys before that pigs don't feel comfortable when their feet are off the floor. So typically when you pick them up, they scream and scream and scream. Come here. Oh. <coughs> In public, she gets excited. It fits her eyes. Come on, it's Piggy. literally a dog harness. Yeah. Just you probably paid more. Yeah. Oh. You're not gonna let me pick her up now. Okay, hold on. Come here. <laughs> no. All right, but anyway, there we go. Look at how good she is now. She's so good at being picked up. Okay. I don't not have high hopes for those collars if it fits skinny oh. little Molly. Also, she's gotten really good at putting on her collar. Yeah, it's too big. In the past, my tongue. Yeah, it didn't fit on yet either. In the past, she's hated putting her collar on. Now, the one that I made for her, the the other one that I've been using for her, I just have to open it and she sticks her head in. She give me three. I need more than that. Yeah, put her down on the ground and drag her around. I don't know. <laughs> it, it might like I don't think it'll. Like two weeks. I don't. Yeah, she's gonna grow in two weeks, as Gabby says. Well, look at this her. is I it. It's got a nice handle. Wait for her to grow on the ground. I thought that was a plastic hook. I was gonna say that won't work, but yeah, it's nice. Is it as small as it can go? Well, you did it. All right, put her on the ground. All right. It, I think it's coming off. It came off. Oh, already. it came off already. Essentially, it came off of her, but it's still on. The only her thing. Her stomach's too big for it. Yeah, her belly is a bit too big. So the only thing that I use it the thing for is so that I can catch her. I'm not actually teaching her to walk on it because it's really difficult. So it'll work. It's just not going to work yet. Okay, so I'm going to use her old leash, the one that I made, which is actually pretty cute until she grows a little bit bigger. It won't be long because she's growing, but I'm going to show you guys one last thing before we head outside. Um, this is how, what happens when you rub a pig's side. Get ready. <laughs> Instant. She falls over instantly. And then sometimes I just pull her closer to me. <laughs> but she's so cute. Isn't that the funniest thing ever? Watch, I'll try and do it again and show you. But it's like instant. If you... If you rub a, a pig's side, it just falls over wherever it is. She's fallen off the couch doing it before. Let's try it again. She's so cute though. Her nose is so fun. It literally is the cutest little thing. It's so hard. It can give you a back massage for sure. Okay, so watch. <laughs> Instantly, she just shows you her little belly. <laughs> Isn't she so cute though? Like people misrepresent pigs so much. I have a picture, I'll put it in here, of her standing beside the heater. This room is so warm. Sam keeps it so warm in here. And she still stands by the heater all the time. I do not know how pigs live outside. So I said it to my sister, get over there. Okay, so I said it to my sister about how, like I have no idea how they managed to live outside all winter. And she said she doesn't either because they're such babies. Like they're such little puppies. They're little dogs forever. But isn't she so cute? I just love her. I just love her and her little nose. <laughs> anyway, just like that, she's asleep. <laughs> She does understand though, when I put this on, it means we're going outside. And there's her best friend. They're still not quite best friends yet. It's actually so cold, Sam had to bring the hose in. She can totally get down off the couch, but she waits for me to come and carry her. She's a princess pig. <laughs> Even the pig is not running right now because it's so cold outside. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> 
<laughs> Ellie! Wait, watch. Here she comes! <laughs> she doesn't know where to go. She's she's trying to play with the dog so she doesn't get it. Come here, piggy, piggy, piggy. Come on. Come on, all your friends are down here. Come on. This one's tiny, Mom. Oh, this one's tiny. I know, they're all this this whole whole batch was tiny. That last batch. We have like about three silky crosses. What do I name it, Gabby? What do we name it, Gabby? I, I was gonna name it Buffalo, but I think Buffalo's the one that cute. Has red is gonna name Buffalo. Okay, so we gave one of our our roosters. We sold one of our Bridget. roosters. What? Bridget. 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 No, it needs to be a food name because I have chicken strips and roski. Okay, listen, listen, listen. We sold one of our roosters. Sophie sold one of her roosters. I'm gonna show you a picture of him in his new home. I think we sold the wrong one. He is freaking gorgeous. gorgeous. Update on our feeder. This is the first time I filled it all the way. And yes, the lid is a filthy mess. Because they stand on it, it makes it's them- a problem, it's such a cutie. Makes it, but I love how it does up. It's the easiest chicken food thing that you can, you can fill up with, you can, that you can unscrew. My concern was that it doesn't fill up at the bottom and I was worried that they wouldn't, that they would starve, but it's actually working so good. They figured out how to use it and it, they don't waste food, which is weird because I never saw food all over the ground before, but they don't waste food. It's the best feeder ever. Like, I am loving it. These two are really starting to play now. It's so crazy. I've been collecting toys and stuff for my grandkids. My music just turned up really loud. Apparently, <laughs> it's good for Gabby too. <laughs> Ellie's like, come on, come on, I got a stick. <laughs> She does today. It is so cold. Come on, piggy, piggy, piggy. She found the poop pile. That's her favorite place. Come on. Posey. Posey. Don't eat horse poop. Oh. Get out of that. Come on. This barn is getting such a mess. Hot girls. Okay, hurry up. All right, Posey, you stay over there. It is freezing out today. But I actually. That's your horse. I give you each carrots for your horses. You get all the carrots for all for your horse. I have two. Come on. Chill out. Come here. <laughs> Gabby's Penny's like. Coming. Penny's coming. I miss the horses. Come here. When it's this cold outside, we tend to stay in. Hot pen. You weren't gonna come to her, were you? Come here. Come on, target. It's nice in the sun. It is cold though, holy moly. Storm is the only one that's not coming. Oh, here he comes. Oh, he's getting carrots from Sophie. But anyways, I wanted to tell you guys a little update about Sophie's new horse. So yeah, come over here. I dreamed a couple of nights ago her horse. And you guys know what I want for a horse. Like I want a horse. My very specific things are that it's the right size for Sophie. He's mad at you. <laughs> Gabby, walk. Walk, Gabby. Well, I got shoes on, but I don't wear here. Oh yeah, she's got good shoes on. Anyways, I dreamed that we bought her a horse and it was a boy and he was so funny and so like, one of the things that we want from her horse is that he likes to be busy and he likes to do what he want, what she wants to do with him. And he was jumping everything. He like was jumping out of the field, in the field. No fence could keep this horse in. And then, yeah, hey, where's my pig? Thing. I feel like I could just pick it up. Just wait. But honestly, I can't pick it up. <laughs> you probably could pick I it up. Uh oh, Ellie, up. run because this horse right. likes to chase you. Wait, let me grab your legs. I could probably. So, anyway, I that's what. It. Whoa. So, I picked her up. So, that storm. Storm's like, do it. oh. <laughs> do it, Dad, Gabby. Yeah, do it. Do it, Gabby. Pick up Storm. Hey, how to get your horse to rear? No, don't get your horse to rear. Well, I could. <laughs> She's different. She's not a riding horse. Definitely different. You're so sassy. But I lost my pig. That is one of my criteria that the horse has to be. Ellie, come on. <laughs> Ellie, run. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Horses and kids and pigs and dogs. It doesn't get any crazier than that. Okay, so my point is that I've been trying to make for five minutes is that 
we want a horse that will do and is excited to work and do what Sophie wants, like Willow. And this horse was jumping in my dream. It was jumping in the, in the stalls or it was jumping in the field, out of the field. And we were watching out the window and we were like, oh, there goes Sophie's horse again. So it made me want to update you guys. We're still on the search for Sophie's horse. I believe it's gonna happen soon. I feel it's gonna happen soon. Usually I have a pretty good instinct for that. Your pick is cold. I know, we're gonna go in. It's literally too cold to be outside. She like, doesn't have any hair. The barn is colder than the sun even. All right, let's go inside. Let's go. If, if I put her in my couch, she's warm. All right, just carry her. So anyways, guys, get ready, because it's about to happen. I know for sure we'll have a horse before the season starts. I wanted to tell you guys one more thing um, about Sophie's horse is that my plan to have her horse between the end of April and the beginning of May is because this cold weather is terrible. And I'm a fair weather person. I'm a fair weather rider. So is Sophie. And we want to start the season early, like at the end of April. We want to start at the end of April, beginning of May. So I'm definitely in a hurry to find her the perfect horse for this season. And we have some like exciting, fun plans that we have planned for her and this horse, as well as all the other plans that I have. Like I'm seriously need this weather to warm up fast because I have a lot of things that I want to do. But keep your fingers crossed that any day now, we find Sophie's horse. She's trapped in a child's body. This is why I can balance better on my left. So I got all these toys for my grandkids and I got a little stroller because the last time they were here, we went on a walk and Arya couldn't walk and it's hard for me to carry her for especially long distances. So I got a stroller. I'm having a new grandbaby soon. I got a double stroller. I'll show it to you guys later. Super fine. Sam found it for really cheap on. Facebook Marketplace. And you know, it's almost Easter, so that means grandkids, they're coming soon. Hopefully it's warm, so I can set up all these toys that we've been collecting so that they have some place to play. I want Nana's house to be, to be fun. Don't you know the 